Hey everyone, my name's John, and today I'm going to deliver you a guitar tutorial on the song Deliverer, because that's who he is, that's who I am, that's who we are. But in all seriousness, today we're going to be going over Deliverer by North Point Worship. So we're going to do the playthrough first, and then afterwards, stay tuned, because I'm going to go over uh, specific parts that I think might need some more explanation. And then uh, after that, I, I just want to share a little bit about uh, the song, why I think it's so important, and just give you a, a bit of encouragement as you go into Sunday morning while you're playing the song. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the playthrough of Deliverer. One. Two. Intro. Two. Three. Four. Verse one. Chorus. Bridge two, drums in.
So that's how you play Deliverer by North Point Worship. Uh, the original song is in the key of F, so that's where I was playing it today. So these lead lines are, uh, for the most part, just phrased around different tri triad shapes for that intro part and that uh, main hook in the interlude. That's all being played around your F triad chord in your uh, like your A shape, uh, all the way up here on your uh, tenth fret. And we're just picking through those chords, adding our fourth and fifth. Uh, to the chord and you're just going to be letting those notes ring together uh, with a chorus effect on so it's going to sound like and then uh, at the end when uh, we're turning into the chorus that little tag at the end uh, just it changes up it kind of like plays it in reverse so So that's all on your uh, D, G, and B string right there. Moving to the chorus, there's two different parts that you play for the chorus. The first pass is just double stop chords and you can follow along with that uh, chord progression, but you're basically playing your four on your uh, D and B string, uh, which is the, on the third fret. So, And then you walk it up and then back down. Up. And then we're playing an F power chord, so that's on your uh, D and G string here. Uh, and then your four again, and you're playing your one uh, on your D and G, so that's uh, three on D, two on G. And then going back to your five, which is on the D and B string there again, and then six. So that part you play for the, the first two choruses. And then uh, that instrumental that you go to is again back with your like F-shaped triad chord on your D, G, and B string. So that your first shape is, it's just like through the pentatonic scale. You got 10 on your D, 10 on your G, 12 on your G, and then you're going 12 on D, 10 on uh, G, and then you're doing 11, 10 on your B. So all together it's And then it goes back to that intro. Uh, you end up playing that chorus with some drive on. And then there's that first part of the bridge. Uh, you're just basically playing an F chord with your D-shaped triad up on your uh, fifth fret of the G and sixth fret of the B. And then you have your root, your root note on your D string that you're playing with your pinky uh, and your index finger and, or sorry, and your uh, ring finger. And you're just walking that note down from A sharp, A, G, uh, and you're picking through that chord. So it's, you're just barring that so you're taking your middle finger off. And then uh, I like to pick through uh, some notes of that scale just to add some flavor to it you don't have to uh but i'd like to so it's like so it's just some pull-offs you know something like that and it goes back to that interlude part we also play that a whole octave higher as well uh up on your 13th fret of the b and e string that's kind of phrased around your E-shaped triad playing F, the F chord. And then the final instrumental at the very end of the song uh, is kind of around that same shape, except you're starting on your 15th fret of the B string going down from there and then playing a similar part on your E string. But 
But that's all the parts for Deliverer by North Point. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to help you out there. But before you go, I just wanna uh, give you some inspiration and encouragement for Sunday morning. This song is such a powerful song and I remember for me when I first heard this song, I was in one of those mountaintop seasons of life, you know, where it feels like you're, you're hearing from God a lot and uh, you're it's easy to find joy in life. And for me, when I heard this song while I was in that season, it was um, it was really easy to worship to it because it's easy to declare that God is a deliverer and that he has a plan and he makes a way for you. And uh, even if you don't see it in this life, like you're still walking with God and how beautiful is that? You know, it's, it's easy to say that when you're in a mountaintop season. But not too long after that, I kind of felt like I was entering in one of those valley seasons where it's hard to hear God's voice. There's just some seasons of life where it's really difficult to hear God's voice. Those seasons where he's uh, He's working and he's trying to pull you closer to him. Sometimes it's, it's hard to hear him in those seasons. And I heard the song again in that season and it almost took on like a new meaning for me. It encouraged me to remember the seasons of life where I could clearly hear God's voice, where I could clearly see him moving and him working, where he did deliver me from certain trials or uh, he did move mountains for me. Sometimes you need a song that uh, can help you reflect and remember those seasons. Uh, and that's one of those things that can get you through those valley seasons. Sometimes you have to sing a song in faith for your soul to actually believe it. Sometimes you, you have to make your flesh move for it to really sink down deep in your soul. And this song, for me at least, was such a powerful song in both seasons of life for two completely different reasons. And it's, it's hard to find a song that can do that. So I wanna encourage you that as you're playing this song, I want you to know that this is a song that is going to minister to your congregation. It's a song that is going to uh, resonate with people that are in two completely different seasons of life. And wh whatever season of life you're finding yourself in, I, I wanna encourage you to to dig deep into the song and really pray through what the Lord is trying to, to speak to you in this season and what he's trying to pull out of you this season and have that at the forefront of your mind when you're playing this on a Sunday morning. And also to just know that the, the worship that you're giving the Lord through this song will have the impact on everyone in this congregation. It's not a song that is only geared towards one person. Uh, and that's one of the things that I think is so beautiful about this song. So I hope that this uh, tutorial, that this walkthrough of this song uh, helped you and encouraged you uh, going into Sunday morning and prepared you for what God's gonna do. Remember that you're not just a musician playing the song, you're a worship leader and you are demonstrating to the congregation what it means to worship, what it looks like to worship. So uh, have fun with it. Like play this song with joy, with passion. Uh, the song rocks, it like drives, it has so much feeling to it. There's a lot of different moving parts on, on the guitar that are a lot of fun to play. So show that while you're playing. So after you play this song at church, I would love to uh, hear about it in the comments. So after you've played this on a Sunday morning, be sure to come back and just write down in the comments how it went. Uh, if this was a song that your congregation resonated with or not, I would love to hear the testimonies down below. Uh, and I would love to interact with you and share stories and uh, talk about that. But with all that out of the way, my name's John. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.